Hi, I'm Scotty. Today we're going to disassemble the movement that we removed in the last video. Let's start to take the movement apart. We'll undo these four nuts here. First one. Second one. Third one was a bit loose anyway. The fourth nut up here has a spring attached to it, so we'll have to remember that when we put the movement together again. We'll put that in the strike side box. Now, when we're removing the top plate, we have to remember there may still be a little bit of pressure on some of the parts from the spring. So we'll take it to pieces very carefully. Now we'll loosen the other side. Expect that it'll have a bit of a run down too. So we'll keep an eye on that. Lift that top little bit off. I've got the top and the bottom plate off now. That's a strike side, strike side spring. We'll disassemble that and we'll put all this into the ultrasonic soon and clean it up. That's the going side spring. The striking gongs or the gong strikers. That's the spring that tensions it. I'll take the pieces apart on the other side now. All right. Pair of pliers. We'll remove these C clamps. Probably have to use a pair of fine tipped tweezers to hold them to remove. There we go. They are tiny. That's the first one. Now this one.
into the dish. Have to undo that spring before we can take that spring out and we've got a spring on here to tension the rack we'll take that out and the rack will come off into the strike side bin now that'll come up I'll take that spring off there and then we'll come back and see where we're up to. <clears throat> and notice one of the wheels has a bent tooth as you can see there. So we'll replace that before we put it back into the movement. The rest of the movement's all the pieces, so we'll get it ready to put into the ultrasonic to clean it.